You and I just listened to Kyle Shanahan's comments to the media. He started with injuries. Jeff Wilson, one of them. Debo Samuel, he said, helmet to the knee on the play that he went hopping off. I thought maybe the helmet was a little above the knee, but helmet to the knee is what Kyle said. He will practice. He's expected to practice. X-rays negative on the ankle of Trent Williams, but um, it's an ankle sprain, and we'll see. So those were the those were the significant injuries that Kyle uh, reported. Did he also say like there's some other stuff that has just been lingering that he's just been battling through? Yep. I think first and foremost on Trent Williams, one, unlike Week 18, I do not think they could win the game without him. They need Trent Williams in the game. I think we just we've watched the Rams the last couple weeks with their pass rushers, specifically a guy that they gave a second and a third round pick for who once upon a time won a Super Bowl MVP. I was in attendance for that game. This guy's coming on. Now, I don't know if he's peak Von Miller, but he's closer to Von Miller than he was, it feels like, the last couple of years. So they need Trent in this game, and that, to me, is a concern. Because when I was at the SoFi Stadium Week 18, loading up on some cocktails, I looked down at my phone, a text from you that said, Trent Williams is out, what the fuck? And I immediately tell the two guys I'm with, and they their mouse hit the floor. Like, it was a... It was kind of a devastating moment for our little group at in the stadium. Like Trent Williams is out, that, and then, then I look on the internet. When you say that was a huge story that for that hour leading up to the game, like Trent Williams yeah. out of the game. Yep. And that was his elbow, right? He couldn't get right with his elbow, and now he has an ankle. Um, and Von Miller made a big play in that game, and he's been playing really well. Continues to play very well. Yeah, if you remember, he the play happened at the end of the game when he sacked. I guess it was close to the end of the game. It forced the punt, which I thought was crazy, but it ended up working out on Compton. And then the next two weeks, to me, he's been better than he was that game, right? And yep. I felt yesterday watching him, didn't you? Forty was flying around everywhere with Tom Brady. Holy yep. shit. He looked really good. He killed him. He killed him. Uh, somebody asked, Kyle did not use the word high ankle to describe Trent Williams. It's not a high ankle sprain. That would be a major problem. He also said that Ambry Thomas is doing much better than he was doing on Sunday. So there's some optimism that he'll return, you know, probably helps for any of these guys, particularly, I don't know if it helps for an ankle or not, that it's not going to be zero degrees. Um, but I would think any injury helps it not being zero degrees. Although there was some discussion about, does it help deaden the pain? Um, but that would be good news for the 49ers as well. If Ambry Thomas can come back. I mean, he had the game winning interception. Yeah. And I said at the time, when we did that show live after the Rams game that he was beaten, but he wasn't, he was, that was incorrect. He was not beaten by Odell Beckham jr. On that game winning pick. So that would be big as well. I think one key is they have to figure out a way with Ambry Thomas and with Dante Johnson, because they ended up running, like they, they spread it out a little bit with Matt Stafford, a little, you know, green Bay style minus the cold, right? Those four or five wide receiver sets. Now, sometimes it's tight ends too out there, but they get Cooper cup, they utilize him. This is, to me, McVay's greatest attribute as a play caller is he can get 10 matched up on different people, and then he fucking gets open all the time. Yeah. It's not just... Like, Devontae, for the most part, out wide, you can't cover me. Cup, because he's, you know, I wouldn't call... He's not Tyreek Hill or Devontae, even though he's really good. A little more... He benefits a lot from them scheming him open, and then he kicks ass. So, anytime they get 10 on 27, it's a big, big advantage for them I would say the other thing one guy also I, Von Miller has come on I, I think Odell Beckham's looked pretty good the last couple yes. of weeks uh, just kind of flying around yesterday his production I don't think was quite as high as the Arizona game but I just thought like his speed and his urgency I was like god three looks pretty good yeah I'm with you there was one ball he, he caught coming around the coming across the middle from like the top of the screen to the bottom of the screen and then he cut it up the sideline and it just reminded me that they have like oh Maybe he is closer to Odell Beckham Jr., you know, who's the guy that people were trying to get a few years ago. Everybody wanted him, not the guy that, that they got in the bargain. Uh, bargain I, I, do, I do think the good thing is their linebackers are healthy because Higby has been a little bit of a problem for them. And he, I, I like Higby too. You know, he's yeah. just – it's weird. The 49ers have this star tight end, and now that he's healthy, they just kind of ride him. But they don't really have just like a second guy that's just a pure – you know, closer tight to like end. A, a slot receiver type tight end, which I think would kind of help Kittle out a little bit. Well, you know, yeah. I mean, and remember they, a couple years ago, they were in the mix for uh, what's his name? Austin Hooper. You know, they, right. they were kind of sniffing around to get a pass catching tight end, but that's, 
to me, the, the injury And he was expensive, as it turned out. He was not going to be cheap, yeah. So, I mean, they, they, back to the Trent Williams injury. To me, when you... I mean, they're they're all in on this guy, right? They gave him a max contract. He's one of their... I mean, he's the best player, probably pound for pound, on their team when fully healthy because he's arguably the best player in the league, like non-court, just true best player. Like, he's an unstoppable force. If they could just get him to, like, 90%, you know, somehow, because he doesn't have to practice all week. Remember, he didn't practice all week leading up to Week 18 game, and no one thought it was that big a deal. It's like, ah, fuck, he's fine. (laughs) And then it was like, what? Yeah. Because the way he described Debo right before we jumped on, it made it seem like they're not worried at all. He didn't even mention the shoulder that he got crushed in the game, right, that he came... Maybe that wasn't even anything. Maybe uh, I see. I, yeah, I think Debo sometimes just needs a breath or several breaths. He works so hard. Um, but as it relates to Trent, I mean, they build their team around him as much as you can build your team around a left tackle, not just in the pass game and the run game at left tackle. But they ran two critical plays with him lined up as a fullback. The game. This is what you need know about Trent. The game was on the line to end. On fourth down and one, and they tried to run a play behind him. It didn't work. It would have worked. I would imagine they have other plays off of that play now that the Rams have seen it, but why run anything else? Run no behind point. Trent Williams. So um, I agree with you. I don't think that you can beat the Rams again without him. 